Hey everyone, my name is Serena King. I'm a real estate agent here in Lafayette, Louisiana. If you haven't been to my channel before, welcome. I talk about all things real estate. Definitely click the like and subscribe button below so you can follow my content for more. I'm going to be doing a series where I go through all the neighborhoods in Lafayette, Broussard, and Youngsville. So I'm going to do like a tour so you can kind of see what it looks like inside. So stay tuned. The first neighborhood I'm going to be doing is called Sugar Mill Pond. As you can see here, I've attached a map view of Sugar Mill Pond. Sugar Mill Pond has so many amenities near it. As you can see, there's restaurants, grocery stores, gas stations, literally minutes outside of the subdivision. So there are definitely a lot of things that you can get to pretty much in close proximity. I've also included here a map of the internal infrastructure of the subdivision itself. They have a pond, massive pond that you can fish in, and they also have their own bars, restaurants, facilities, gym facilities, and clubs inside the subdivision as well so that you can see here pictured in the, um, in the photo. Welcome to Sugar Mill Pond, one of my favorite places to video. Sugar Mill Pond has a population of 67,436 and the medium home price is $380,000. It is considered a neo-traditional neighborhood development, which just means that everything their residents could ever ask for are placed right there within the subdivision so that they don't have to walk very far to have all their needs met. Coming up to the right, you'll see that we have businesses such as law office, restaurants, and also their own personal private gym the residents get to use. Ahead of me is you're going to see the pond that is actually the entrance to the dock and to the massive pond that is right in the center of the neighborhood. As you can see to the right we have more businesses. The gym is actually right here at the very end here that you're going to see in this white building. Now as we approach the neighborhood to the left I just want you to take note that everything is rather close to these um, buildings in the front. So, fun fact, people here actually drive around their neighborhood with a golf cart because it's the easiest way to get around and they find it better than having to drive their cars. Based on the design of this neighborhood, there's actually a street that all the garages of the homes will face, and this is actually how the residents go inside their homes via the garage. So that's actually a pretty cool point. Um, as you can see here though, that's why a lot of the times you'll see guests not parked 
in driveways. A lot of these homes don't have driveways. It's actually in the back of the house. So once I drive around here, you'll definitely see that a lot of cars are parked outside. And that is actually mainly one of the main reasons why. These homes also are made fairly close to each other. And one of the things that these homes don't have is they have little to no yard. So this is the perfect place for somebody who just does not want to have a lot of lawn maintenance, doesn't want to have to do a lot of um, caretaking for their lawn, and is really just inter interested in something a little bit easier to take care of and easier to manage. Also a cool thing to point out is these homes all have sidewalks in every single part of this neighborhood because the way it was designed was for it to be walkable. So with a, a traditional neighborhood development, that is actually one of their criteria is for it to be walkable. So you'll definitely see that there's sidewalks everywhere. They want to make it to where their residents um, almost have a, so uh, a sort of community. They'll be able to walk, talk, you know, go out into their neighborhood. They have a park here for kids and the homes are relatively close together. So you have that as well. So if you're very comfortable with trying to be a part of a community or you're looking for something where it'll be very family friendly, this is definitely one of the neighborhoods that fits that criteria. As I'm driving here, you can kind of get a better shot of the pond right up in front of me. And you'll see many times in Youngsville, a lot of lawn maintenance um, workers. And that is because the people of Youngsville take pride in making sure that their community is well kept and well well-rounded, basically always looking nice all the time. You'll see people gardening, doing their lawn, even if it's in a non-HOA home, people here tend to take very, very good care of the yard and the aesthetics of their home. So right in front of me, you see here that they're actually building more uh, facilities for the residents of Sugar Mill Pond. It's actually under construction as of this moment, but there'll be definitely more things to be looking forward to in this neighborhood that the residents can expect to enjoy. As I'm coming up here, these are the apartments that are linked to Sugar Mill Pond. This is a, actually a very, very cool part of the subdivision because not only do you have a separate sugar mill pond neighborhood but you have these lovely apartments that are just absolutely beautiful and they're right next to the um the subdivision and they did this a lot of people actually really love to live here because when they live here they get to enjoy the same amenities as the residents of sugar mill pond without having to invest in buying a home in the subdivision if they're not necessarily ready to make that jump yet.
that's it y'all that's sugar mill pond let me know what you guys think the neighborhood is amazing it's one of the very rare neighborhoods in lafayette that we're actually in youngsville that's structured this way where all the amenities are inside of the um the neighborhood itself so definitely hit the like button subscribe to my channel and let me know what you guys think see you in the next one